North Korea has held a huge nighttime parade to mark the 75th anniversary of the founding of their military. The parade was attended by the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and his 10-year-old daughter. Photos show the country's largest ever display of its most powerful long-range missiles. Let's go to our reporter, Jean McKenzie, who is in Seoul. Jean, just tell us about the missiles on display. How significant are they? What is significant, I think, today is the number of these missiles. So North Korea has paraded what we think is around a dozen of its most powerful missiles, its newest intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, this is the missile that is capable, we think, of reaching the United States. But it's this number of a dozen that is so significant. Why does this number matter? Because with this many of the missile that we hadn't seen before, it has the potential to overwhelm US defense systems if all these missiles are capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads. And now to put this all in context, this parade today comes off the back of a record year of missile testing by North Korea and years of failed diplomacy. So North Korea at the moment is refusing to talk to the United States. It's refusing to give up its nuclear weapons. And all the while, it's building more, as we've seen today, and it's becoming more dangerous. So really, it's presenting the US with a problem at the moment that it doesn't seem to know how to solve. Now, as expected, of course, the event overseen by Kim Jong-un, but also by his daughter. That's more unusual. What could, can we read into that? Yes, this is the first time that Kim has ever brought his daughter to oversee a parade, but it's actually now the fifth time that she's appeared in public in a relatively short period of time over the last three months. Now, we think this is Kim Jong-un's second oldest child, that she's called Kim Jue, and that she's around 10 years old. The first time we saw her was at the launch of this intercontinental ballistic missile back in November. And this was huge news. You know, people were whispering, does this mean that Kim Jong-un has chosen her to be his successor. But it was deemed far too early to, to tell. But with every one of the appearances that she's made, it becomes that little bit more likely, particularly when you look at the transformation that she has had in these short three months. So yesterday, or that, sorry, the day before yesterday, before the parade, he took her to a military banquet where she was dressed up smartly. And in all the photos, she sat bang in the centre, in between her mother and father, surrounded by these military officials, so quite literally taking centre stage. So this is certainly fueling this speculation that perhaps one day she could be the person that is running North Korea. Jean, thank you very much. Jean McKenzie joining us from Seoul, watching events in North Korea.